story. Ahoy there, listeners. It's Mario 2, a game which is a dream. <laughs> That's the connection. But you can't get more tired than Mario these days. Uh, he's still got spark for a big fat Italian man. But this Mario, is the SNES gonna... version, isn't it? The one on, uh... Yes, this was the version on Super Mario All-Stars. Now, what's the one thing everyone who should know anything about video games knows about Mario 2? Um, gee, it's not, it wasn't originally a Mario game. There you go. <laughs> There's a lot. I thought you were just going to go, Luigi's the best. No. This is like a... I th- hate Luigi's th- weird floaty jumps. I could never use him. I always use Luigi because he's the best. That's, Always. It's inaccurate. It's an inaccurate statement. So, Toad's got some great fucking plucking skills, and Peach's ability to drift was probably the most important thing to me. So this is a... Uh, what was your word again? Tired, remember? Tired. Oh, it was okay. quite a tired choice for tired, but I'm going to liven it up a bit by drinking alcohol. I think that's a fair... No, I, I think that's a fair choice. You've, oh. You see what I mean about his fucking stupid floaty jumps? All right, there'll be someone else in the next level. Yeah. So I got my lovely can of Summersby apple cider here. Peach, man. Peach is where it's at. Let me just, uh... Super Mario Ball Scars, the vasectomy simulator. And uh, just to keep it interesting, I'm going to play a little drinking game. (laughs) And the game is, I'm going to drink every time I feel a pressing need to numb myself from the world. Oh, time to drink. (laughs) That's a fun game. (sighs) Anyway. Played that for eight years. Why not play Drink Along with Drown Out? <laughs> Just get your preferred beverage and we, perhaps we can all soften the blow of this tedious routine together. We can uh, completely encourage wholly irresponsible drinking. So the game that Jesus. this used to be, do you know what it was called? Uh, Doki Doki Panic. Well done. Now what does Doki Doki mean? No fucking clue. It's a onomatopoeia for the beating of a heart. Huh. Is it me or does Japanese seem to, you know, use a lot of onomatopoeia and kind of puns and words? Yeah, they're quite big on that. They're quite big on puns. They don't translate too well, but they're big on them. I like puns. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you may notice. Big Louis. You, yeah, okay, you missed the... If you pluck... If you, yeah, you got to pick up this shit in the negative. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Yeah, I've had one mouthful of cider. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, going wild. <laughs> Lightweight crucial. I'm running wild on you. Yatsumania! So, yes. Most of these enemies were uh, exactly the same as they were in uh, Doki Doki Panic, mm. but uh, they would later become ins- associated with the Mario, for want of a better word, canon. Completely absorbed into the Mario universe. Like the Shy Guys were introduced in this game. I kind of like the Shy Guys. Yes, I think they're an enigma. Yeah. What, what torment lurks behind that placid expression? They probably, like, are all people who said bad things about Princess Peach. Yeah. And so she, like, locked this horrible nightmare mask onto them and sent them to the dream realm. I bet she's a really despotic ruler. Well, yes. You don't see a lot of dissent in I the made Mushroom this, Kingdom. I made this point in a video once. She's basically a female Berlusconi. <laughs> I mean, she basically just acts in hedonistic leisure while supporting only a uh, uh, selected bourgeoisie and demonizing the lower classes. And uh, affording favours to a couple of foreigners who are probably giving her one. <laughs> well, you know, the filthy subclasses. Dirty shy guys. Star yes. you was She son? can't even keep track of how many kids she's given birth to, <laughs> Princess Peach. You saw it in Mario Sunshine, I didn't see no fucking denials. For the kingdom. Mm. Must breed for the kingdom. Oh, I just thought about Princess Peach having sex. Time for a drink. <laughs> I really enjoy Mario 2. Yeah, well, the uh, orig- the Japanese Mario 2, released in this All-Stars pack as The Lost Levels, Is, was basically yeah. just a level pack for Mario 1. Which was brutally hard, and they said, let's not release this to the rest of the world. I say Mario 1, I mean Super Mario Brothers. For, of course, there was Mario Brothers before that. Which was that funny little drain pipe game that they added, uh... You can play on Mario All-Stars, actually. This is a pretty... I, I always enjoyed Mario it, All-Stars. You can, you I think can play it in uh, Mario 3. Oh, yeah. Sort of a secret mini game. Yeah. I, I quite like Mario All-Stars for being, you know, both a cosmetic touch-up and, um, you know, having a... Because, yeah, Lost Levels was fucking brutal because I, I got this when I got my SNES because it was a, a, a game that came with the SNES. Here's a hint for uh, people who make irreverent sprite art. The sprite of the characters pulling something out of the ground can be used in all sort of suspect ways. 
and then everyone will say what a card you are. Oh, you're a Joker card. That's what you are. Yes, I'm about to belch. Joker. I see. I warn you about it. Therefore, it's not uncouth. You, should, you need to belch along with um, Birdo when uh, he she dis vomits an ovum. All hey. right, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to try and burp again because I almost threw up a little bit. <laughs> You're a gross, gross man, aren't you? <laughs> Look at you, sitting there in your sheen of sweat like Slimer from Ghostbusters. It is like 88 humidity in Brisbane at the moment. Well, it's been pissing Quick, down hit lately. the transgender, hit her! Then Strike her about the face. Nintendo, clamp down on that. It's a girl. I no, call really. bullshit. Yeah, but of course, in the original manual of Mario 2... Birdo was a man. It directly explained, with no prejudice whatsoever, that Birdo was trans, and no one gave a shit. These days, there'd be fucking some kind of weird Bible group having a hissy fit about it. What happened to that when, um, Tomodachi Life was oppressing homosexuals? <laughs> well, homosexuals aren't trans, that's... <laughs> no, of course. We must protect the even smaller minority. Minorities within minorities. All we right, must go deeper. Let's just be Mario then, the shit know. brother. Well, again, I recommend Peach. She, I, I think she is. She has a slow pickup, but she can hover, oh, which I, I well, think's just. I was almost getting acclimatized to the floaty jumps there. Uh, I hated the floaty jumps. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I want your carpet. I'm gonna be like the T1000. I need your clothes, your boots, and your flying carpet. Get out. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking fun. of the T-1000, there's a new term- Shit! I no, died! <laughs> there's a might new Terminator well, movie movie. Might as well made. take a drink then. Yeah. Drink every time you die. I noticed that. Isn't that the one with Doctor Who and uh, Daenerys Targaryen in it? Um, yeah. And it's- I mean, look, I the think- The one with the really shit awful for posters. Yeah. And I think that the, you know, Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, I think, are just an almost perfect pair of movies for me. Well, yes. I mean, it's a natural arc. First yeah. he's the baddie, then he's the goodie. And, Simple you know, arc, but an effective one. Well, that and, um... Uh, Sarah Connor's arc is also really fucking Sarah great. Sarah Connor? Yeah, in the first one, she's like, she yeah. starts scared and small, and then she gets stronger by the end of that film, and then by I film two, fucking badass. I liked how she was fucking psychotic in that film. Yeah, and also a bit mad. Go that's down what, one of the tubes. Oh, wait, what, I think you're not near it. That's what I didn't like about the Sarah Connor Chronicles. They just made her into generic team mum. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Who much cares really. about Sarah Connor Chronicles? But I mean, yeah, this is a complete sort of reboot now where time has been changed. So I don't know. I'm not one of those people who thinks every time they make a new film that it's you need to go back and get the key. Right. Um... It destroys something I used to enjoy, you know, like... Well, you say that, but I think uh, by this point, Sonic has kind of retroactively become universally shit. I think that's an interesting and probably quite unique case, and I think that's more the fan base. Like, I still enjoy the old Sonics, it's just now... Ay, ay, ay. Because I, I, I can't help myself, like, lately I've just been looking at the Sonic fandom and it's just... Because <laughs> it's, it's, you... it's like a sore tooth you can't stop fucking picking at with your tongue. You just... Did you search for Gabriel the Hedgehog? Oh, of course I did. I imagine there were quite a few of those. Yeah, loads. All quite androgynous, I think. That's... Well, yes. One I, one I did find that wasn't a Gabriel was just... It was a picture of Knuckles... And it was a wonky ass, like, child's picture of Knuckles. And it just said, Knuckles at the bottom, and then above, so lonely. Okay, you needed those guys. Oh, no, you didn't. That's right. So I played, um, Sonic Boom this week. <laughs> what was that like? Well, I'm probably Are gonna you... review it, yeah. actually. <laughs> you, it's been a while since you've had something I think you can really just rip into. Yeah, I'm treating it like a holiday. Yeah, you gotta... This, uh, this, this is just for laughs. This is the big lump of meat, and you're rocky. You're just stepping up, it's like, alright. But I'll say one thing for it. I mean, I know there was a bit of outcry because suddenly Knuckles is a huge, like, bruiser character. He's been, yeah, he's been bulking. But you know, thinking about it, I actually kind of appreciate that they're fucking differentiating the builds a bit. Because well, previously, every single character in the Sonic canon was same body, yeah. slight variance on head. Well, I, Knuckles was a regular, that's why he was called Knuckles, and why he has big knuckles, and why he was able to climb, like, just up sheer walls. Like, he was always... See, that's another thing I don't get. Tails is called Tails, but his real name's Miles Prower. He's called Tails because he's got two tails. Mm. Knuckles is called Knuckles because he's got knuckles. What's his real name? Steve. Just Steve. 
I like to think. Get the heart. It's uh, there we go. Richard Bacon. <laughs> it's it's funny because there's there's Yahtzee the hedgehogs. I mean those are there, but um, yeah, we were, we, we were trying to find um, you know, other ones for friends of ours, and we searched Cormac the Hedgehog, and there wasn't a Cormac the Hedgehog. There was a Cormac Prower. You said that last week. Oh, I thought was, I can't remember the stuff that we I say to you personally. Well, if you watch these things back, maybe you'd remember. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, I got a one up from that somehow. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try Peach, try Peach. Oh, Alright, I'll yeah. be Peach then. Miss Floaty Ass Princess. Peach is best. She, just, she, she can float because she's an airhead. <laughs> I thought that's just how dresses worked. She doesn't have the height of Luigi, it must be said. No. But she makes the distance. Yeah, that's... And you've no idea how, like, especially in this game when you're doing sort of later stages when... That's right. Fucking jump! That's right, they got super jumps. Yeah. Um, later stages when you're having a jump from, like, flying carpet to flying carpet. Oh, you see that, uh, pulling up sprite that the princess has got? Oh, suits oh, you, sir. Oh, suits you, sir. Suits you. <laughs> she's, uh, she's used to that. Likes a good squat. Oh. Did you see it? Did you see it? I'll do it again. Do it again. Do that again. And I'll make the noise. As soon as I find a thing. Yeah, don't try and out. grab these stupid fish. They're just pains in the ass. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, now we've alienated women. Probably safe to talk about the thing. I don't know if you've alienated them if you haven't drawn in at least a whole uh, fresh flock of uh, shippers. Uh, 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 I, just... I have to sit near this, uh, listeners. Uh, uh, <laughs> This is rape. I'm being raped. You're in. You loving it? <laughs> well, you know, I can. I can look back on things and laugh. Well, yes. <laughs> um, this isn't rape. Catch me later when I've had a few more. Yeah. That'll be rape. Yes, we're making a running gag out of me sexually assaulting my co-commentator. What of it? So what happened? I consented to this joke. So what happened this week in Australia? Absolutely nothing. There's nothing at all to talk about. It's been a Stop boring it, week. Stop it, you tease! <laughs> You're making me turn to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Um, well, initially, I mean, okay, so Target and Kmart decided to pull GTA Five, the newer one for the PS4 and PC and what have you, off shelves. Yeah. Well, why was that then? Um, after a change petition. From oh, did you see, see that eagle eye. That was a good snipe. There. Yeah, that was that. That's that's legit. Um, after a change.org petition. Bollocks. See, if I was Luigi, I could have made that. Eh, I don't know. I think you, I think you have to have at least two. I'm little, pretty sure you can. Two little blocks. Um, and before I sort of like talk about how the decision was made and why we th both think it's kind of stupid, I I still maintain that this is a success. For, like, not moral panics, because well, in the olden days they used to get shit banned. Well, unusually, in this case, we can't blame the government for it, can we? No. And but again, like, see, again, Target and Kmart can do what the fuck they like, they can stock what the fuck they like, if they want to do this, that's their fucking business, I don't care. The government's saying you yeah, can't play a game. Yeah, who the fuck buys games at Target? I know! Right? Like, that was... There's probably, like, one kid in an outer suburb where there's, like, just one shitty mall and the Target's the only thing there, and the internet connection's bad, so he's kind of stuck having a... I feel Shit. sorry for that kid. Shit! It's the mask! This is really Fento. scary. Fento! You guys, it's like, this is the original Slender or some shit. It really is. Slender face. It's yeah, so the Slender, there's no... There's, you know, there's nothing there. Are the only people buying... Games from Target are like confused mothers. So in a way, that's you can sort of understand why they wouldn't stock it. Confused, stupid, shitty, negligent parents who buy R18 games for the kids. And if a private company doesn't want to make profit from the most popular game in the world, <laughs> that's their own business. Well, again, know? I I have no idea how much I, know, I have no idea how much money fucking Target makes from games. I can't imagine it's like a big part of their day. Shit. That was amazing. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's. I just, in my head I have you going to switch on, like, your microwave, and then your finger just veering past the button, and just careening for the fucking PowerPoint holes, and you just don't stop, you just keep going, and then there's a flash. Oh, it's very easy to criticize, isn't it? There's a surprisingly- <laughs> You fucking do this to me all the time! There's a surprisingly slow horizontal acceleration in this game. This is what, you see, see what I mean about, like, the usefulness of Peach's little float, though? Well, yes. 
It's like the double jump yeah. where you can correct in midair. Except it just locks you in place, and you're just like, okay, I can edge a little bit, I can edge a little bit, all right. It's kind of I annoying that there's no way to kill monsters except by throwing them at another monster. Yeah. I kind of like that you disappear into a big face at the end of this. Like, that's the most dreamy part about that to me. How do you end the stage? You get eaten by a big fucking hawk. It's almost Gilliam-esque, isn't it? Yeah. I also like the bosses are at least a little bit different. What? What, what, what happened there? <laughs> you went away, and the bomb ceased to exist because this is the land of dreams. Oh, fine. Uh. <laughs> bomb. Shit, he moved. Um, if, you, if the bombs land on top of you, you catch them sort of automatically. Haha. -ha. But anyway, yes. No one fucking buys games from Target. Um, yeah, that and again, these... The moral panic people used to get shit fucking... Used to get the government to ban shit. And we didn't get them. Like, we just, that's a uh, game's not here. Yeah, well, games are, they got, uh, too, well, now, they make far too much money these days. Uh, well, that and now they have to settle for, what, victory? Shit. Oh, Jesus. Getting, like, fucking GTA, the, the, you know, the, the, the newest version of a year old game, not sold at, like, fucking Target and So it was, we should probably mention that it was banned because of a petition of 40,000 ill-informed busybody wanktards <laughs> claiming that yeah. it depicted too much violence against no, women. No, that it encouraged. Like, it, it encouraged, it, it encouraged yeah. And the game in, in no way fashion. rewards violence against women. Except in the usually stated thing where uh, you can fuck prostitutes and kill them and take your money back. But the game never tells you to do that, we yeah, hasten to add. That's something you do. That's the thing, like... Well, they weren't really relying on that so much as the, uh... Problematic... That's a fucking uh, loaded word these days, isn't it? The problematic depiction of uh, female characters as, uh... You know, targets of... Uh, mocker, mockery and, uh... Uh, the kind of uh, bland characterization, uh. and I would say that would be better explained by them being characters in a GTA game yeah. than them being female, <laughs> because look around, it's a fucking uh, very overt cultural satire. No one comes out of that game looking good. Yeah, the fucking internet cafes are called twat. Yeah, this is the level of fucking character that you're dealing with, and all the male characters are like dumbass fucking parodies. I mean, I made this point in my review. Like, there's only like a small handful of GTA characters. There's the crazy guy who acts really irresponsibly. There's the old guy who's tired of it all, and there's the um, there's the, the like Hollywood. Yeah, there's the um, flighty Hollywood celebrity type, and genders like that affects both the genders of characters. Well, that no creative work is has a responsibility to produce a good character. Well, they quite. They're not the be all and end all. That's you know the, the the fact that GTA has shitty fucking female characters is fucking irrelevant. There are good female characters in games. Just go look for them. If you complain about AAA, that's like thinking all of film is just what Michael Bay makes. I well, no one's banning all of AAA games. They're just banning GTA. No, but I mean that the, the, the broader complaint about female representation tends to only look at like AAA titles. Well, let's keep it to the to the relevant thing. You know, I I almost didn't want to cover the topic. Because I, because I thought to myself, everyone knows what we're going to say. Mm. We're just going to say that it's... Yeah, uh, people piss and moan when we don't. We are going to very deliberately say that it's retarded <laughs> in order to annoy social justice warriors. And uh, we'll just completely agree with each other the whole way through. Mm. I mean, unless you think it's actually a really good idea. Um, well, again, I think the reaction to it is, should just be meh. But, well, you know what actually made me want to cover it after all? Mm. Was seeing... Some peop some uh, correspondence online in support of the move <laughs> of the the social justice persuasion. I read an article on a gaming news site of all things defending the move. Same people who like called called Jack Thompson out back in the day, <laughs> all over censorship as long as it's for the side they're uh, hand wringingly defending. That's that's what I hate about the social justice warriors. It's not principle, it's person. So they'll never stick to a principle if you know it's just all about do they like it, do they agree with this one thing. No, well, that, so it's 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 bad when it's Jack Thompson. It's good when it's something they don't like. Exactly, showed their true colours that day. <clears throat> they were never against censorship. They were just against the other side, yeah. the other guy. And Just against yeah. people who disagreed with them. For a moment, our our agendas aligned, but now our agendas differ, and it's all men for themselves and well, women good. for themselves. Don't be, you know, 
I mean, and I just found it awfully disappointing, you know? Ah, uh, who gives a shit? That's the way the wind's been blowing for a while. Sad little non-thinkers fucking pissing and moaning about depictions. I mean, it's for the starters, there are women who don't care or, and would disagree. And what really bugs me is when things like this happen, people don't go, that offends me. They go, that offends my group. Because if something offends yes. you, who gives a shit? Well, that's the thing about um, the social justice movement, is that it's not a movement at this point. There's no, there's no clear agenda. All it is is a group. Like, this happens to a lot of movements. Histrionic, so screaming morons. This happened to the Occupy movement. One could argue it also happens to Gamergate itself. That when you have a movement that anyone can join and claim to be a part of, and that doesn't really have any kind of agenda behind a nebulous goal, like more diversity, or What are you or doing less, to that fucking... What are you corruption. doing? I don't know, I've had a, <laughs> I'm starting to get a buzz on here. <laughs> there, gotta there stop go. it. <laughs> But when you have a movement with an agenda as nebulous as that, it's inevitably just going to turn in, like, just going to forget the agenda and just turn into a group. And a group, a group's only agenda is to further the existence of the group. And to argue and to, with our out-group. Yes, and this to uh, demonize the people who are outside the group. The man covered in shit problem. If you're, you say so. You're, you're, you're going to, you know, everything that you, that you say that is good, you're going to have someone walk up beside you and go, I agree with him, and he'll yes. be covered in shit, and it'll yes. make your group look bad. Yes, yes, yes. I can pinpoint the very video you first made that point, because it was the first drown out we did. Was it? Yeah, Quake. When was Quake, that? Quake 2. Actually, we're coming up on a year anniversary of this, some people have noticed. Weeping Jesus. Amazing, isn't it? If you'll excuse me, I'm just trying to sign my name in this sand. <laughs> Alright, well, you know. You, Damn you, it. You Keep do that. Again, and that's... No one speaks for all women, because women are a diverse group of human beings who have yeah. different fucking opinions. Yeah, every, and like, everyone... This is this is one of the things I love watching, in particular like the anti gamer gay group, is watching anyone who disagrees, who is part of those like sort of groups like minorities, women, gay, whatever. Yeah, they call them a self hater. Yeah, so or you've you know, internalized just, it. Yeah, <laughs> I love, I love doing that to like girls I know. Just whenever they complain about something, I go, oh, "It's just your internalized misogyny talking." Yes, and don't they worry, I'll just be just glare at me. I'll be offended on your behalf. Yeah, because again, if you say that offends me. Who fucking cares? So people always have to suddenly become an ambassador for their entire fucking group. That Otherwise no one listens to that it. That offends people like me. Yeah. But you know what really chives my spuds? Mm. Is when the social justice warrior has... Th I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a drink in preparation for this. Because this is my devastating so argument. forward to this. Is when the... Dig, dig, man. Is when the... Uh, I should say the bad kind of social justice warrior that we hate. Yeah. Who just push an agenda and don't really care about um, actual an actual <laughs> movement or change in society. Again, I think when they, when people like that have the balls, the sheer temerity to to claim that they are the progressive side <laughs> and that people who disagree with them must be anti-progress. I know. I oppose censorship in all its forms because censorship censorship is anti-progress. Mm. I don't say censorship is wrong out of some didactic, masturbating is wrong attitude. Censorship is not only wrong, it's illogical. Because you want people to say uh, every point of view. This because true progress is uh, evolution of ideas, and evolution can only come from interbreeding and mixing of, of a variant of ideas. Let everyone speak, because if they're wrong, they'll just condemn themselves with their own words. And, and if and if they're right, what's the worst that can happen? They'll convince you. Mm. They'll prove you were wrong. What are you so afraid of? That was that was the rant I was rehearsing this morning. Hope uh, everyone no, enjoyed no, it. No, no. Your fe your feelings? Um, well, quite similar. I mean, I I, I already know that they're gonna that people are gonna. Well, I think we should explain like SJW as a pejorative to me is people who claim to be for progress but are then counter to it. So like the hyper-racial kind who, rather than ending the kind of arbitrary differences between us, really want to just make them the forefront of every interaction. I think that's the destructive to intermingling of- Hey! hey! Two extra lives, fuck yeah, that was worth five at least. I think the sevens, um, the sevens are worth the a lot. princess, I think Toad's bad And luck. that's the thing, I, you know, if you're trans, I want you to get your surgery and to have your life. If you're gay, I want you to be able to fucking get married. You're all just fucking human, so I want you to have the same things that I do. What I When I use SJW as a pejorative, it's because you're working against that for this narrow little... 
You want everyone to stay in their little boxes. Yeah, which I don't want. I want everyone to mingle and to see each other and to experience each other's ways. Cultural appropriation and all that. Oh, poppycock. I want, you know, I want people to appropriate my shit and have a look at it and to remix it and to change it. Then you get fun new shit. Japanese people doing stuff with, like, English, you know, traditional, like, stories is always fucking great. Whenever an anime does something to do with Christian mythology, it is balls out fucking fun. What, like Evangelion? Yeah, there's been, there's been a few other ones that were that just... That was less to, do, less to do with the inherent attitudes of anime and more to do with being... Written by a fucking madman. Well, Evangelion, yeah. But, I mean, there's, there's been a few others that have sort of dealt with, um, kind of, um, Western, oh, Western tradition. I've got um, a green religions. pumpkin. That's a capsicum, Yahtzee. Possibly. <laughs> and that's, like, I... Capsicum is what we call... divisive, horrid little creatures. And that, to me, is what an SJW is. But mm. again, where I'm absolutely- people I don't want who, anyone to have not the life I have, or not the opportunities at the very least. People like, who turn the miracle of scientific progress into an argument about a shirt. <laughs> yeah, or just taking their fucking point of view as being the objective from which everyone else is trying to differ. And so, that, there is a, that there is a multiplicity of points of view negates your ability to state that one occurrence is producing Whoops, Gabriel's plugged his waffle line in. Dude, you had yours. Your fucking rant went all over the joint. Mine was coherent, uh, which is amazing considering the, the buzz I've got on. Whoops. I, I reminded myself of drinking. <laughs> You're astonishingly <laughs> lightweight. <laughs> I suppose you don't drink much, but that's... Like, that's not even one can finished. How much is that? Like, I think it's 1.5. Yeah, I think it's 1.4 standard drinks. Okay, you gotta pick a thing and then duck. You have to you have to pick the bomb first. Okay. Yeah, you gotta pick and then duck immediately. Right. Uh. There, can't be that drunk. Success. Yeah, you're, you're now allowed to drive. It's like that Mitchell and Webb sketch. But um, hey, look at that, three in a row. Everything enough, you do is ever so slightly yeah. easier when you're a little bit drunk. Only a little though. Okay, the middle the middle plant. You have to pick up the middle plant. There we go. You stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Why did she throw it so far that time? Are you holding forward? No. That's weird, then. I honestly, I don't know. She's she's, she's rebelling against you. Well, <laughs> it must be because of all the things we've been saying. Yeah, it's... It must be because uh, we support GTA and all its anti-woman content. Yeah, because GTA's not anti-woman. It's anti-person. I mean, there was a well, scene that in that where my... you torture someone. Yeah, that was... No the... one gives a shit about that. That was the point I didn't like. I didn't ask for it to be uh, banned. Yeah. I just said, let's just leave the game there, and then it will condemn itself by having it. And here's the thing. I'd support you if you wanted to make some retarded SJW game about killing men. You have a right to produce that. I don't give a shit, because it doesn't affect me, because I don't believe that this is going to lead to, like, women running around stabbing me. Which it fucking doesn't, by the way. Oh, you never know. Uh, I've been- I, it, f by a weird coincidence, I've spent like the last three weeks reading about the pathology of rapists and ah, yes. also the actual, um, the studies that people will read articles about because I have the university databases, I can go through and actually read the whole thing. And Who was it who said that there are lies, damned lies, and statistics? Uh, I think Twain is the one I've seen that attributed to, but uh, you can get, it could You can be. get statistics to prove whatever you like, basically. Well, that, I mean, here's the thing. The one, 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 there was a major sort of research, uh, it was a, a research review, so it was basically a new research approach to a, a huge variety of other um, studies that had been done yes. about whether or not video games um, and new media encourage or like sort of generate uh, trait aggression. Spoiler warning, they don't. Well, okay, here's the thing. There's, you know how there's an issue with like scientific illiteracy and science reporting where you know, a, a scientist will say, oh, we've got this, we've managed to teleport a photon. And then the, um, the headline will be, teleportation now possible, like shit yeah, like that. Yeah, I was watching a, 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 a humorous Armstrong and Miller sketch last night, where they have this uh, science scientist on like a, you know, a, a news program as they are these days, mm. with, with the presenter going, these brain boxes have come up with an amazing new theory that will revolutionize our lives. Could you tell us about it in layman's terms? And the scientist goes, no. <laughs> oh, I wish that would... Okay, you need one of those blocks, because, oh no, this Orco doesn't. Well, yes. And then and the um, presenter said, well, could you give us, like, a... Uh, uh, like a... down-to-earth... A summary of what it's all about, starting with its most basic terms. 
Thems, and the guy goes, uh, oh yeah, I can do that, it'll take about 11 years. <laughs> And the presenter said, uh, "This was the this was the good the good joke that I liked." The presenter said, "Surely we uh, someone there'll be someone out there watching who will be able to understand what you're saying." The scientist goes, "No, they won't." And the presenter says, "How do you know?" He goes, "Well, because uh, Frank's on holiday and Wei Sheng's dead." <laughs> yeah, and that's the same is very very true for social sciences. So, come, come on, come to me, heart. Yes, mine. Studies that have demonstrated trade aggression as a result of playing video games. May well you hang your jaw in surprise. Um, have I mean, A, oftentimes the video games are played in tiny chunks in lab- I mean, for starters, psychologists' laboratory environments are weird environments. Like, I've done those studies, like, where I'm like the guinea pig and shit. <laughs> well, that explains why all those psychics who went to James Randi could never- deliver in the laboratory conditions. Yeah, the, the, the laboratory conditions are odd, and frequently they'll give you like snippets of a game or snippets of a piece of violent media without any of the context surrounding that. So that's, you know, already there's an issue with how that's produced. And one of the ways they measure trade aggression, I'll, I'll give you two actual ways that have been used to define like aggression in these studies. Mm -hmm. One was after playing a violent video game, you had to decide on a, on a, the, the level of volume of a sound that one of your um, uh, fellow uh, studiers was going to hear. One was quiet, five was loud. And if you pick ah, five... So, so you were deciding whether or not to do something nasty to someone. Yeah. I and see. If, if, if you picked five, that was deemed trade aggression. And... Oh, or, you know, the, okay. things like that. And there's a, the major study in were 2010 you, who's the, the, the name, because there's like eight people who did it. Were um, they aware that it was an obnoxiously loud noise? Um, yeah, or not. I mean, that's that's the thing. They didn't really cover, they didn't, you know, again, and it's in laboratory settings. So the thing is, in a laboratory setting, you think everything's safe because it's run by fucking scientists. Like, that's right. another issue that's been brought up in one of the counterpoints to, like, one of the counter articles to this is laboratory settings of aggression aren't a true measure of really how aggressive people are going to be. Especially when you take it into account that you're literally just, you know, you're measuring aggression by whether or not you want to make someone else in a study hear a loud noise. Yeah, well... And the trade aggression that they did find was just above statistically insignificant, and, again, was built around well, hearing seems, a fucking sound. Seems to me it would be smarter to go by uh, real, real, words, real, real world statistics of... Uh, uh, a large study of the number of violent crimes over a period of time. Well, that was the most recent done one done by a guy called Ferguson, who I do remember. Um, that was As done in, in 2014. Um, no, uh, C I think C.J. Ferguson or something like that. I you know, don't quote me on that. I'm half remembering. But um, Americans with their two initial names. He did a longitudinal study, which was all about you know the amount of violent media, both cinema and video games, relative to the sort of amount of. Um, violence in a society as done by sort of police See, even, crime statistics even and stuff that, like that. Uh, how do you define a violent film, film or a violent video game? Well, I mean, that's, yeah, in and of itself, that's an issue. Um, that's, a, that's also an issue, a huge issue in the one I did read about video games causing sexist attitudes because it was just a... I think the, 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 the sample size was six, oh, so okay. that's not a lot. And the results were come to by asking people whether they felt it was sexist. Which right. is fucking meaningless because everybody, even like different groups of fucking women, are going to define sexism quite differently. So, and again, this is a huge problem. People will just I'm hear a fucking thing about you know though this is shown. There's a study, and the, the, you know the words a study has shown will. That's a weasel word, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a phrase. It may have shown, but for the love of God, read the fucking study because sometimes there are methodological problems. Sometimes there are problems in interpretation. It's like saying "some say" in a journalistic yeah. article. Have you ever seen the, the 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 words "some say" in a sentence in a journalistic article? What the writer meant was "I say." <laughs> I say, and I couldn't find a study backing me up. Yeah, so I'm just going to say some say. Studies. Read, read the actual studies. If you, if, some if say games of anti-feminist. Some say. Yeah. Which, again, they really aren't. You can't ask I mean, you can't uh, ask someone to produce content like... It's like asking me to have daydreams about somebody else. Like, my daydreams are about a big dude who wears all black who's just misunderstood. Like, people think from their own perspective, Wait, which is why you I have want... daydreams about me. <laughs> which is why, you know, which is why I really encourage people to make more. And you live in a, a world now where that's possible. When I was in high school and I asked the fucking guidance counselor how I could go about learning to make video games, they didn't know. 
I got a fucking shrug as an answer. These days, like, you have so many options. Well, if you don't to say you want to go and uh, become a miner, they probably didn't know uh, what to give you. Yeah. I, there was like a careers advice guy at the college I went to once, and that was basically the thing. They made you do a little test where you'd answer questions, and then they give you like a ridiculously long list of things you could do. Things like um, pastry chef, mine engineer, <laughs> video game designer. But just based on this one test. Was video game designer actually in yours? I mean, yeah. You lucky bastard! Well, I was sort of answering the questions with uh, a deliberate, yeah, with the deliberate intent for that to come up. <laughs> And they give you some pamphlets, and if you wanted to do something really interesting or creative, they just go, well, I wouldn't put your hopes up for that. Why have you considered being a miner instead? That's fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, my teachers didn't even know. I want to make video games. Shut up, get a real job. Like, that was basically the attitude. Well, is that better or worse than telling everyone, ooh, you're special, you can do whatever you set your no, mind no, no. to? Not special. You can make video games if you want. It's, if, if you think you're going to make the world's greatest video game that everybody's going to love... That's where you're gonna. That's where you're starting to be delusional. You should see, just be where, happy producing see, content. That's why I was going wrong. Yeah, I mean, and that's you live in an era where you can fund, produce, advertise, and distribute completely independent of any power structures. Now, that's amazing. Well, that's a miracle that's existed since for like four years. Well, you say that, but pretty much the entire top 100 of most uh, like mobile game stores are the same candidates, and they've all got big pockets. Oh yeah, no, that's again that looking at the top. You don't need something that means something to you to be the most popular or the most famous. It just needs to mean something to you. Look into indies. Look into unknown stuff. Then you'll find stuff that can actually fucking reflect what who you are and what you like. Well, anyway, Mr. Didax, let's get back to the GTA thing. Because, um, another thing that disappointed me... I mean, fuck the came up thing. I mean, that's just... Who private cares, people man? doing their thing. No one buys games from them anyway. And it's yeah. just them, like, responding to what they perceived to be popular opinion like a true thoughtless corporation does. What disappointed me was like attitudes on the internet in support of it. Same attitudes would have been so against Jack Thompson back in the day. Yeah. There was a Penny Arcade strip on the subject recently. Whatever you think of Penny Arcade these days. Where they um, they did make uh, they did draw a line between it and Nazi book burning. <laughs> and you know it was a bit of a godwin argument. But I think there's an attitude on the internet these days, because of the whole Godwin thing, that when you bring up a comparison to the Nazis, then the argument is automatically invalid. Well, I think the Nazis were an extreme, but like... It's, and I don't think it's always the case that it's invalid to bring up the Nazis, because if you're talking about the suppression of a creative work, yeah. simply because... No one good has ever done that. Simply because we're afraid it might uh, influence the minds of people against the party line we would prefer... <laughs> It's hard to think of a better comparison. Well, you know, any not nice fucking, you know, dictatorship is... No no one good has ever cracked down on creative works. Like, that's a, that's an alarm bell. But I saw that and I thought, yeah, fairly obvious. I mean, surely there's no one who disagree with that. It's hard. What hap whatever happened to Edgy Penny Arcade? <laughs> but then I saw, like, a page... A link to a page of Twitter replies saying, Ugh! Gross! Penny Arcade we can throw with all the evils, evil, um, gamer shit. They're now rapists, yeah. Yeah, because well, they, they support those, violence against people, women. Yeah. They support violence against women, which we have been told is in this game. Yeah. Ugh. That's, the, that's what bugs me is, like, I'm not supporting violence against women. I'm supporting your interpretation of a creative... I'm, I'm d disputing your interpretation of a creative work. I don't think oh. this should be so difficult. No. If you support censorship, you're against freedom and free thinking. Why is this so complicated? Why are people Where so... Are to... Why are so people, people so... So lacking in self-awareness on this matter? Uh, I wouldn't say they automatically support, actively support the alternative, but I think they're not thinking. Because again, the, the machinery by which you can censor thoughts that you don't like can be used against you. That's why the idea is you sort of avoid those kinds of machines. Like, you don't want... Censorship is the tool of those who cannot argue with reason. Because if you have faith in your facts, you just let every point of view be stated. As I said, if they're wrong, they'll just condemn themselves. What are you afraid of? I think there's a real problem with people not wanting to admit they've changed their mind these days. There's this idea in society today that changing your mind shows a lack of conviction I've or a weak it. or weakness of character. I don't know. That's... And I think it's a I think it's an enormous virtue to be able to admit that you were wrong about something. Mm. Whoops. 
And I, I, was face, I was <laughs> facing the wrong way. Silly me. Well, you admitted you're wrong. I better, That's I better take a drink. <laughs> now I will... A mature attitude to throwing that off. Now I will be better at this game. Shit! <laughs> You did that deliberately. I don't believe that was a fucking genuine accident. Well, I guess I had a little centipede's dilemma there. <laughs> um, Suddenly I was thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, I... And bear in mind, I... There are lots of things that I will support for free speech that I actively friggin' personally dislike. I mean, pickup artists. I love pickup artists. Yeah. I still don't think that we should, like, censor what they say. Yeah, I, I always felt... Found, I, I, I found a little, I mean, yeah, that guy who was, like, run out of the country yeah. and has been denied access to England. I mean, I don't approve of the guy, but Fucking there's something iffy. There's something iffy about that whole... There's something iffy about denying him access to countries and censoring his uh, well, things to say. let him talk and then make fun of the stupid shit he says. Well, that was my point, exactly. <laughs> He'll condemn himself with his own words. Yeah, like, and, or, or, you know, also, like, I was talking to, you know, women about this. I'm like, you know this guy and this shit, like, gets people laid, right? And, and it's interesting talking to women about that, because if someone was going, if there was, like, a woman going around going, I've cracked, like, the male psyche and can fucking do this and that... I'd immediately read everything that person had produced. I was like, okay, I need to know. What, what is this fucking thing? Is this real uh, or are they just full of shit? Uh, Princess Peach, gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger. <laughs> but she ain't messing with no broke nigger. Um, Amma, Amma, you said the N-word. <laughs> I will call the oh, church police. I'm Australian. It's okay for me to say nigger. It's not okay for me to say coon or abbo. That's... Mm. I always think there is something almost quaint about Australian racism. Well, not if you're the butt of it, but I yeah. <laughs> and Australia has its own problems. I mean, I've we never laugh really... in America, but no. I mean, this might sound know... apolo like an apologist talking, but I've never really gotten a vibe of hatred from Australian racism. Uh... Maybe I haven't been exposed to enough of it. No, like, Australia actively had a white Australia policy. Oh, well, there was that uh, Lost <laughs> Generation thing, I suppose. Well, Lost. Stolen. Stolen generation <laughs> yeah. thing. We went around nicking Aboriginal kids for a while, and well, this probably... sounds horrible, but it was well intentioned. Yeah, but I see, suppose. here's the thing: the well intentioned part of that was a goddamn lie. Like, if there were like the if the, the Aboriginal kids who they'd taken were given access to like you know Western power structures and that kind of shit, that'd be fine. But, you know, they'd, or you know, not fine, but at least there'd be something positive the fucking outcome of it. But they were abducted and basically turned into molested housekeepers. And right. that's not okay, because that's the thing that, you know, they're abducted with this statement of we're going to give them, like, a better life and, you know, away from the problems of, you know, what it's like to live in an Aboriginal refuge or whatever. And that wasn't even what they did. They lied, even after that. Where's and all the shit? You've already got it, that's why you got three hearts. Shit! So that's, like, that's one of the things about the stolen generation that's... I mean, you know, you, you don't go around nicking people's kids. The best way to get someone to act like you is to be a good example, and if your shit's... Again, if your shit's right, they'll start acting like you. You don't go around stealing people's kids. I no, must make a note of that. Don't fucking do See, that's that. where I always go wrong. Yeah. You're just, I'm just going to abduct your kids, and... I mean, you know, teachers can't do that. I might be doing... You know, I might have the best intentions. I can't, like, just steal your kids. What are you complaining about? Yeah, I'm giving one them an less, education. Fine. Yeah, less one less mouth to feed. <laughs> Just borrowing them for a couple of years. Relax. Um, but yeah, they they were abducted, and most of them were you know usually abused, if not. Yeah, that was fucked. <sighs> yeah, when I said there was something almost quaint about Australian racism, I wasn't referring to that. There is a form of quaint Australian racism, like the way my grandmother would call like brown people darkies. Yeah. It wasn't racist, it's just racially insensitive. I was ducking! <laughs> like, What's the point of having a duck button? Hey, I didn't know that. That's a sexy Birdo. I didn't know a picture of Birdo appears if uh, Birdo kills you. I don't think, I think that's just there, I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe someone will chime in. Alright. Where does the continue take me back to? But I mean, like, because I did a um, Aboriginal Perspectives course for part of my education thing. Because, tragically, Aboriginal, um, you know, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia don't have good access to education, don't have good educational outcomes. And probably one of the best things I got out of that was one of the um, Indigenous lecturers who um, talks about, like, that kind of SJW separatist attitude of, like, seeing race before you see sort of the human behind the fucking ethnicity. Yeah. And they said that, you know, race is a lie. And the race the, is a lie. The yeah. lesser known portal joke. <laughs> race is a lie, and that the attitude that sees race before human 
creates, and this is a little bit of a dramatic phrase, but I kind of love it because it sort of suits this, the silent apartheid of lowered expectations. I'm gonna name a band after that. <laughs> yeah, because when you see a race, you see an Aboriginal student as opposed to a student, and you start treating them differently, you'll start to expect less because you think they're going to produce less. And how that is catastrophically bad for student outcomes. So I lost track of how this turned into a racism debate. I don't know. We're covering all bases today. Yeah. The Jews. Good on them. I really do think it's true that um, a lot of the social justice actions and attitudes are uh, damaging the very things they, yeah. as they ostensibly seek to further. And that's why I use SJW as a pejorative, because and it hurts something that I actually do support. I assumed I'd have a float that I could use to, to arrest my fall there. I'm not sure why I didn't. I'm not sure if you get the float off of a drop. I think it might have to be from an active jump. Oh, no, that was a drop. Oh, well. You just suck meaty nuts. You suck meaty nuts. And the meatiest. It worked that time. Which one was the potion? Huh? I keep forgetting. Um, the one on the left. Why okay, like... Why is this... Th throw it, hold forward and throw it. Or just, that'll do. The one on the left is a potion. Aha. Uh -huh. So Don't it throw is. it off the edge. There we go. Now I will have this coin. Ugh. And that will disappear right up my slack pink flu. Anyway... So, Some um, movies were cast this week. So you're welcome. <laughs> We've saved the world again. You're welcome. Yeah. Where are we gonna get our fucking due from that, man? Like, at least a statue or something. Well, prophets are without honour in their own land. Yeah. What do you want for your statue, though, but serious? Um, I'd like to have my hands on my hips and one foot resting on a defeated enemy. Yeah, fair enough. And the defeated enemy is you. I'd like a statue of me and Jesus, and Jesus is passing a baton to me. It's 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 a subtle metaphor that I, I'm not sure you, you get. So I'd rather um, have Jesus fist bumping. <laughs> Buddies with Christ. But then Vandals, I'm sure that's a youth group somewhere. But then Vandals might take away the Jesus and instead put a horse statue. So it looks like you've got a fist up a horse's bum. <laughs> I would love to vandalize with statuary. Like to have that ac access to that. Like I could just put up a bronze statue of. There was a village shit. near where I grew up where they had like a, a statue in the center. And every Christmas it was uh, dressed up in a different costume by cunning vandals. <laughs> like the, like, year Mr. Like like the year Mr. Blobby was the Christmas number one, they dressed him up as Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby's creepy. He is. It's a creepy, creepy thing. You didn't hear the Christmas song he was No, I did not. That's fortunately not. The, the weird UK Christmas song thing is something I'm not exposed to, except it on the odd a, occasion. It when... is a strange phenomenon. It's a sort of emblematic of uh, the British attitude to, um, uh, like, high emotion. I would tend to be sort of, um, phlegmatic about it. Like, there was a case where we had, like, a, a Dancing with the Stars was a TV show. Yes. Know, where they have, um, like, one of those uh, talent TV shows where you'd have celebrities on and have them dance and the public vote on which one they like best. Mm -hmm. And there was the problem with the British version where they had one dancer on who was John Sargent, who was a respected uh, correspondent in like news and current affairs was on there as dancer and he was awful absolutely dreadful but uh, they kept voting him back in because everyone loved to see him <laughs> and david mitchell made the point on a on a i think it was mock the week where he was I'm saying that he found that very heartening that britain as a country is a country that will say we would like to express our respect for this great statesman and man of letters over all this fucking dancing we're supposed to be enjoying. Hey. Yes! Are you sure it wasn't that they just enjoyed watching a horrible failing dance? That could be that as well. Like, that's another... I... That's, that's what we were talking about British comedy a couple of weeks back. Yeah. That's another uh, very yeah, Mr. central Smart part. Mr. can't dance. Very central part of the British character. We do like to see people taken down a peg. Brought down to our level. Fucking but, pegs. Pegs are the real racism. But it basically showed an irreverence for, you know, the whole dance element. The dull... <laughs> Something about a shy guy riding a fucking ostrich just cracks me up every time I see it. It's just wedged on there. It's just sorry, I was drinking. What's going on? Um, shy guys are riding birds at you. Oh Welcome no! Welcome to World Three Two, motherfucker. Can't have that. 
Oi, oi, I step, oi. Jesus Christ. I jumped on you. That means you have to do my bidding. After, after two cans of cider, Yahtzee shits himself and blacks out. I just tend to flare up fast and then uh, flare down again. That's interesting. Have you, have you eaten today? Like, have you skipped meals? Okay, if you well, hold them too a, long, they wiggle free. I had my usual light lunch. Uh, uh, uh. I suppose, like, a Saturday afternoon drunk is, uh, is a tricky mistress. Can be so good and then, oh, goes so bad. Weren't you, were you saying something about film casting a while back? Yeah, movies have been cast. So, Do Benedict tell. Cumberbatch is Doctor Strange, which I actually think is a reasonably good piece of casting. I did hear about that. I heard that was being speculated quite a while back. Yeah, you? I think he can sell the I, magic. I don't know how to get past that. I'm going to find something to throw Um, You that. need to fly one of the little dudes. Just hop on, yeah. Gimme. You. No. No you, no, you need one going the direction you want to go. I'm gonna throw it at the oh, plant. Okay. I just hopped on and just rode him because it was BAM! Fun. Well, I prefer the violent solution. <laughs> um, and uh, Suicide Squad got cast. What's that then? Um, Suicide Squad's a... It's a, probably one of DC's more interesting fucking properties where basically they get... Amanda Waller, the nefarious leader of Argus, gets um, villains abducts them, puts bombs in the backs of their heads, and then makes them do, like, dirty jobs that superheroes can't really do. I see. Um, so this one's got... Jared Leto as Joker, I think's an inch Like, uh, I actually... I'm looking forward to that. I think that could be quite a good portrayal. Joker's gonna be in it. Yeah, and uh, Harley Quinn. Joker, Harley Quinn. Um, they have... What's was... his name? Will Smith as, um... I've been saying this for ages. DC needs to make villain-based films, because all their heroes are shit. <laughs> well, that's... Suicide Squad's usually been a very interesting fucking comic, because it is just... It's kind of dodgy fucking people and mentals. Yeah, that works. I support that idea. More than I support the Justice League movie concept. Uh, um, Will Smith's Deadshot, which is an interesting choice, because in the comics, Deadshot's white. The problem is... Uh, that's gonna fl flare up some internet debates, isn't uh, it? It's for a very good reason. In the comics, Deadshot looks exactly like Tony Stark. And they cannot right. have that. Like, they cannot have... DC can't have a movie where one of their characters might be confused for... You're on the mushroom. Oh, so I am. Uh, might be confused for a Marvel character. I like how the Mario elements like the mushrooms and the being small one and not one on your last hit have been obviously crowbarred in fairly hastily in this <laughs> game. Yeah. Well, I wasn't... I, I've only sort of scarcely looked at Doki Doki Panic, but... Um, didn't it not have four characters? Like, didn't yeah, it like did. it's actually? Did it? yeah. yeah, actually, the thing about Doki Doki Panic is that you had to play all of the levels as all four of the characters to proceed. <laughs> that was something that was taken out. That sounds like it could be arduous. <laughs> what you? What were you on about? Um. Just that I think that this is actually a very and like Will Smith is kind of like the. You know, I don't. You know, I almost wouldn't say Will Smith is black. <laughs> he's Tiger Woods black. He's he's non-threatening black. He's here in we between. go with the intro. This is this is what I find I find fucking fascinating about kind of identity politics and stuff like that is when people oh, will define it, someone as not being black even though oh, look there's the black guy. I, I love that shit. I love watching these groups turn in on themselves and when it's a me the group Mario. Has to rip itself apart. I don't think I've ever really played through this game as Mario. Nah, I always used to play as Luigi as a kid. He just doesn't do any one of the things you need very oh, well. Oh, he's the all-rounder. Eh. He's like the the blonde guy from Rise of the Triad. Steve Blonde. So who the hell picks the all-rounder? Only, yeah. only the boring player. I don't. There aren't many games that really sort of... Shit. Can you think of a game that was really rewarded being an all-rounder? Uh... No. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna play Fallout with, you know, 50% sneak and 50% combat. Good All luck right. not getting anywhere. Luigi's my boy, he won't let me down. Alright, come on, go spaz legs. Wiggle your way to victory! Oh, hey, oh, hey. You know what I like about this too? Like, that fucking Luigi having the higher jump has been just etched into Mario canon now as well. He's I'm got the much... higher jump and he also has uh, lower traction. That was the it's... compensation. Yeah, it's just floaty and terrible. <laughs> Way. Way. Watching his little legs wobble. Yes, in Super Paper Mario, the yeah. super jump was Luigi's special ability for act to access new areas. Ah, uh, what are the topics that we have? Um, well, how long have we been talking for? This feels like a long time. 
uh, nearly an hour. Oh, okay, so we got. But the other topic I wanted time. to bring up was the leak of the next Assassin's Creed setting. Oh, that's right. That was one of the other ones. We yes, they. I guess they're moving on pretty fast after the fiasco that was Assassin's Creed Unity. Quick, look at this. You know they let everyone cash in their season passes. Say so, what? Yeah, they said sorry. We're just going to release all the DLC for free as an apology. Dear so God. the season passes can be used to buy uh, like just another Ubisoft game, I think. Wow. But yes, the next Assassin's Creed game, it's official, it's going to be set in Victorian London. And I posted a very hilarious tweet on it. What was it? Where I said, uh, surely everyone would be too reserved to be an assassin. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They'd all People, be like, yeah. making to climb a wall and then going, oh sorry, after you. No, I wouldn't want um, to make a fuss. Yeah. It's interpersonal parkour, like you have to be able to sprint through a crowd without touching anybody. Yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Don't want to expose your ankles. Yeah, you don't want to... If you brush against an elbow, you're now a homosexual. But That's my point is... How Victorian London worked. You know, the unity made sense because it was set during the French Revolution, which was a major period of global upheaval. Mm. But there was nothing... I mean, if it, the Victorian Assassin's Creed is set in... Actually in London, Victorian London, then nothing much was happening actually in London. No mm. one was being invaded. It was mostly a time of repression and... Uh, Everyone uh, in London agreed. Almost just a time of a time of uh, there was a lot of empire going on mm. outside London, but everyone was just sort of uh, genteel about it. I yeah, they'll find a way. They'll be Illuminati or Templars or whatever the fuck they're using. Oh uh, god! You know, yeah, I'll just do that. I mean, Queen Victoria was just a popular monarch, and everything was just kind of all right. It was a time of uh, the good old days. Yeah, it was a time of. Um, just everything was nice. <laughs> there, there was the great exhibition. Unless you were, you know. It was a time of uh, great hope for the coming century. And uh, just... and also lots of wars in India and shit. <laughs> yeah. Horrible for a lot of other places, but well, as your point yeah. is, just not for fucking London. Yeah, I mean, what? I don't know what sort of events they're going to have in London except maybe Jack the Ripper. Oh god! And you you know, can't Jack really make a can't really make a landmark global conflict out of that. He will. He'll be like part of some fucking assassin league for the thing. Oh, you know, it's probably. gonna be that. Oh, so that those five prostitutes were actually evil Templar agents in disguise. Probably. Oh, you know. Templars. Maybe the main character is Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be like it'll be a retelling of Jack the Ripper about how he was just misunderstood. Well, that'll was, fix Ubisoft. Well, he was never caught. Them. Is the problem? Yeah. I mean, they can't really make a story of adversity about him because no one really knows who he was. Well, as with every other piece of fiction about Jack the Ripper, they'll just make some shit up. Well, at least From Hell was based on a like a exhaustive amount of research. Uh, Alan. Moore. The comic, not the film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alan Moore just happened to be researching. Um, Jack the Ripper anyway, so he thought, ah, oh, make a fucking comic out of it. Well, you know, it's it's nice for there to be research for research's sake. Mm. No, it's, it's... I mean, hell, I found a fucking dissertation the other day. It's a hundred and... It's more than 104, actually. It's a 136-page dissertation about why goths aren't sad. That's someone's fucking thesis. That was a successful thesis, I want to fucking add. How could a goth be sad? Well, yeah, so it's, pretty. It's about the fucking ad, you know, attitude that goths are all sort of suicidal and depressive and stuff, and it's about the, the, so, the psychological strength of the gothic subculture. Well, what's the position on emos? Hundred, I don't know, I think this was actually pre, a, a little bit pre-emo. This is from probably like late 99. Emos were sort of proto-goths when the goths sort of had a bit of an image problem. Uh, just... Subdivided. Luigi, you let me down again. Luigi's wobble jump is shitty for landing on fucking Birdo's eggs. Your wobble jump is shitty for landing <laughs> on Birdo's eggs. <laughs> it is, I need to work on that. It's also the 10th anniversary of Numa Numa today. What a strange landmark to pick up upon. Well, it's, it's strange, but it's also like... It reminds me of how quickly things age in internet years, you know? Like, 10 years ago an in internet feels like fucking forever. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't really thought about Numa Numa for quite a long time until well, you yeah, brought it up just you, then. But yeah, I just saw it on, you know, there's a, a link to it on Newgrounds. Newgrounds are still going. I know. Yeah. Going strong, you're num too. You're number one for Flash-based porn. God, wasn't that good back in the day? Because it actually loaded and loaded reasonably quickly on a 56.6k hookup. If you say so. It, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the only bonk. <sighs> One of the only reliable sources of uh, dumb internet shit that you could actually leave for 10 minutes and have it actually load as opposed to just not do anything. Yeah, unregulated too. I think still. So none of that like social justice censorship there. 
Well, isn't it completely just user vote base? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so an awful lot of uh, shitheads who just vote five for the most awful garbage. If like My Little Pony's in it. Ah, democracy. <laughs> well, uh, this the is best it. and worst system you can possibly have. Who was it who said that? Um, uh, it wasn't that quote exactly. I think it was. I think it was. Um, uh, World War Two Britain leader. Yes. Wasn't it Churchill? Churchill. That's it. It was the World War Two Britain leader. <laughs> yeah, that's he, there's a, there's a manga about him called World War Two Britain man. Hitler was nasty Germany mustache man. <laughs> Mussolini was Chinzor, destroyer. History with Gabriel. <laughs> this this man is going to be... I've almost got a history degree. This man is going to be teaching your children. <laughs> Isn't that a scary thought? Oh, uh, yeah, well, World War II. So what was it? Stupid moustache, fat bulldog guy, and Sergeant Titty McChins. Sir, Mr. Morton, <laughs> sir. Shut up, I'm talking. Sir, is it true you once hired a prostitute? Because we've been looking at internet videos, and we found one <laughs> featuring you and our lord and master, Yahtzee Croshaw. In which you admit, Lord and Master. In which you admit having used a prostitute. Is that true, sir? Yeah. It's could, legal. It's, that's, could, that's a legal thing you're allowed to do. There's nothing, nothing you, wrong with that. Couldn't you get a real lady to have sex with you, sir? Are you really pathetic? Well, no, see, kids, I was coked up at the time. And uh, you'll you'll find this out when you're older. Although, you, you know, by then, kids are going to have, like, ultra coke or whatever the fuck better shit. Okay, now I'm the headmaster. Mr. Morton, could you step into my office for a second? Ah, shut up. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to see you're taking this seriously. Any school I'll be teaching is going to have more problems than what I'm going to be talking about. Just indulge me. What will you do if, like, your headmaster calls you into your office and said, we've, is it, we've been finding this internet video in which you um, admit to having used a prostitute, and we've got to admit, this is, kinda, illegal. this is kind of going against our image we want to have for the school, to be honest. Well, pr again, they, they, prostitution is not illegal. You're not allowed to fire someone for using a prostitute. Well, also, we've... Uh, well, we've had some complaints from parents actually saying this. <laughs> so, okay, so now you're just making shit up. You just, you just, you've gone from, Okay, here's dude. an actual part of your history. It'll happen, and now, dude. Kids now will here's say something. Kids will say. Kids will. Kids have been saying to their parents, "Hey, our teacher hired a prostitute once," and our kids will say, "Kids will say, well, I really don't want someone like that teaching my kid." Right. So you're now supporting the SJWs. No, I'm just saying. That's people an SJW are gonna say thing. Huh? I'm just going to say it. People are going to say it. What? Yeah. How? How will you respond? Oh, well, easy. That's a part of my life that's gone. That's, I've got, I've traveled the journey from one end to the other, and this is actually quite beneficial, particularly if you're teaching in areas with high rates of educational withdrawal and delinquency. So you'd never use a prostitute again? I can't imagine why. But uh, you condemn the practice now, don't you? No, I don't condemn the practice. Right, it's you're fired. It's perfectly legal. You're fired. You're not allowed to do that. You don't understand. You don't even, that's the thing. You're saying you're fired. That's not how that works. You're not allowed to just fire someone because they use a prostitute. And you're not allowed As to... As a teacher, I could just go, I'm using prostitutes every fucking weekend. Provided my class isn't, here's what I fucked this week. And you're not, not technically allowed to ban video games if you're not a censor. Well, and no, but they... they didn't ban anything and they didn't censor anything. They're a private business. I I think you're underestimating the problems that could be caused for you. Oh, we're doing the exciting game of things Yahtzee Croshaw knows about education. I know... How much do you know about it, Yahtzee? I know busybody parents. Yeah, how much do you know about education? Why do you keep drawing that card? Because you don't know anything about this. This is like saying, oh, only people who've made a film can be a film critic. Well, no, but you don't actually know anything about the mechanics of education or about how you get hired well, I know as a teacher. I know the mechanics of social justice parents. Yeah. And they're going to uh, try to get you fired. Try? And the pr principal might agree. Eh. It might happen. So? So you might get fired. I don't care. If and I then get... you won't have a job. Well... And you won't be able to feed yourself with fat food for your fat <laughs> tummy. <laughs> I mean, A... Again, you don't know. I mean, Jesus, fuck, man! What, I can't you get keep fired. saying that. No, yeah, because you don't actually know. You're saying things from a basis of zero fucking knowledge. It's legal for me to have a have sex with one of I my know. students, provided they're over sixteen. If I, I can't know get fired people, for that, I know that people disapprove of prostitution. So they don't get to like base their disapproval and then create a reality around that with a state school system. Well, they sh they they they'll sh try, they'll fail. Well, they shouldn't be allowed to, but they'll try. They, they will. Yeah. 
fail. And they'll fail. Because then the school has to... They might not fail, no, cause though. Then the, no, because then the school has to explain what the moral... Like, a Christian... A Catholic school or something, if I was teaching in, like, the Catholic education system. Yeah, because they have moral guidelines you have to agree to when you sign up to teach with them. Well, as, I'm not teaching with the fucking Catholics. Well, as long as you're satisfied... I, that, yes, because I have actual a... knowledge about how teaching works. Well, as long as you're satisfied that uh, the things you've admitted in these videos will never come back to ha hurt you in your future career... No, because then again, then I have fine. actual knowledge about how education works, how you get jobs in the education system, what I, they look for in I teachers. Don't, I think you're muddying the argument. No, I'm not. You don't know shit about this. You constantly don't, bring shit up about stuff you don't actually know. Don't make this about me. It is about you. I'm making a perfectly valid point. No, you aren't. I'm making the perfectly valid point that the things you've admitted in these videos may come back to haunt you in your future career. And I'm explaining to you why you're wrong, and I have more knowledge on this. I don't think I am wrong, and you have not you convinced are. me. <laughs> it's because you're just you're just deciding like this is this is the case. You don't know. <laughs> you don't fuck. You didn't know anything about like the you know the, the Catholic or state education systems. I Catholic know. education systems allowed to say what it, you know say and do what it wants. It could fire me for using a prostitute, probably. I mean, I you know I and I have zero interest of going anywhere near the Catholic education system. <sighs> I just object. Did you know any of that? Well, yes. No, you didn't. I know how Catholic schools work, so I very nearly went to one. <laughs> I mean, I know fucking education hiring policies. I, I just, talk to people well, who now actually I'm work just, in education. You well, don't know shit about this. Well, now I'm just refuting your point that I can't possibly know anything unless I've had some sort of... some sort of higher education learning on the education system. I mean, surely the fact that I went to a school <laughs> should count for something. No, because you went to a school as a student. Not a fucking teacher. Yes, and I know that Completely students... Completely fucking different. I know that students can be fucking vindictive. Yeah. They might decide they're going to spread rumours that you're a paedophile and call you Creepy Morton. <sighs> that doesn't matter. All right, well, if you're, if you're, if you're satisfied that that does not matter and will yeah, never matter... Yeah, it doesn't. Then that's... I guess we should move on. <laughs> oh, I love it when you talk about this. It's just fucking hilarious. You're a fucking twat sometimes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stop saying that! You don't! What do you know about this? <laughs> Why am I gonna take your opinion on this over people, over like lecturers? Or, you know, field professionals? Or anyone who actually is Everyone teaching me fucking education? has in some way been affected by the education system. That doesn't mean you know about how it works from a teacher perspective. <sighs> For God's sake. You don't fucking know anything about this. You place too much... This is like me saying you don't know anything about journalism because you're not a journalist. Except I studied, like, three semesters of journalism. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this, is what, this is what I fucking mean. You don't know fucking shit about There's this. There's a limit you can learn you from studying journalism. Since the man of the high school education. You've never been a journalist. Fuck you. <laughs> you never had to deal with editors. <laughs> I have, so shut up. <laughs> Fucking high school education, fucking ragging on shit you don't know fucking crap about. Oh, for God's sake. I, I think you're just being stubborn. No, I'm explaining that you are saying things yeah, that are incorrect. Yeah, you're mansplaining. You're you saying are. things that are incorrect. You have no extra knowledge, no knowledge that I'm you're- I'm not that saying it's actually gonna happen, I'm just saying it could. I'm just saying it's a possibility that exists in the realm of reality in yeah, which we live. Yeah, and then I said it's a very distant fucking possibility, and one, like, you keep hyper, you know, saying that I'm gonna get, like, fired, and it's, well, we I don't, just don't believe that's the fucking case, and well, I have we more hope information for the best. on this. We hope for the best, but we prepare for the worst. <sighs> I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm I'll sick retire and make dick joke in videos. I'm for sick of discussing this. Because you're just reiterating the same point over and over like you always do. And it's Says you. Well, you are. All you ever do is go, I think I have knowledge on this. You don't. You don't have a perspective to know anything about this. This is you telling me, like, telling me you know my mind better than me again. No, because you, you haven't... What, what do you know about education? You're asking me to list everything I know about education. At least one thing. What, what's the last fucking, you know, thing you've read about the, you know, the, any education system, how education works from a teacher perspective? Or how teachers are hired and fired? What's the last thing, what, what's the last piece of information you got about that? I'm not talking about things written in studies and things taught by lecturers, oh, I'm talking about life experience. Sideways. Yeah, the university of life. I'm sick of talking about this, talk about something else. Tell me how much you love Benedict Cumberbatch and want him to come in your patch. What's your favourite Benedict Cumberbatch fake name? Um... 
Benedict come in my patch? I just said. <laughs> Bendy Dick Thundersnatch fucking killed me the first time I saw it. Okay. Thundersnatch. <laughs> uh, You're easily amused sometimes. Yeah. It's like when you were you giggled about semen and fuck knuckle. Didn't you once break because I said booby booby bum bum? Yeah, that was at the end of a three hour <laughs> video and I was very, very tired. Yep, there's explanations. So I didn't break <laughs> then, did I? <laughs> By right, it should be easier because I'm slightly pissed. <laughs> All right, let's stop all this now. Well, when I say now, I mean after we've said a closing statement. Oh, I thought you meant, oh, should we like look for my word? Yeah, let's look for your word. <laughs> Fuck it. And Gabriel's just going off to a shelf. I'm just gonna hold this bomb over my head. You know, I just, I just can't seem to figure this room out. What have you got? All right, Neil Stevenson, show me the way. Is it Neil Stevenson's Zodiac? Yes. Neil Stevenson, perhaps better known for um, Snow Crash. I didn't really like that book. I'll say when. When? And the failed um, Kickstarter for Clang, I think, if memory serves. I'm uh, not f too familiar with that. Um, say when. When? Hmm. Paddling. Alrighty. Paddling it is. Okay, you gotta get the bomb near the wall for it to blow up. I know! <laughs> Jesus Christ, you patronizing dick! <laughs> no, that was deliberate, because you've been stuck in here for ages, and you're still doing the same thing over and over again. I'm bored. See you next week, everybody. And remember... Use all the prostitutes you can. Use them all the time. Use them as you listen to this. They'll be gratified when they get to this bit. Well done, prostitutes. Continue what you're doing. Yeah, I'm against a prejudice towards prostitutes and sex workers. Don't talk when you're not on the mic. Trans, that's... No, of course. We must protect the even smaller minority. Minorities within minorities. All we right, must go deeper. Let's just be Mario then. The shit, know. brother. Well, again, I recommend Peach. She, I, I think she is... She has a slow pickup, but she can hover. Oh, which right, I well... think's just... I was almost getting acclimatized to the floaty jumps there. Uh, I hated the floaty jumps. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I want your carpet. I'm gonna be like the T-1000. I need your clothes, your boots, and your flying carpet. Get out! <laughs> Whee! <sighs> Speaking fun. of the T-1000, there's a new term- Shit! I no, died! <laughs> there's a might new Terminator well, movie being made. Might as well made. take a drink then. Yeah. Drink every time you die. I noticed that. Isn't that the one with Doctor Who and uh, Daenerys Targaryen in it? Um, yeah. And it's... I mean, look, I the think... The one with the really shit awful for posters. Yeah. And I think that the, you know, Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, I think, are just an almost perfect pair of movies for me. Well, yes. I mean, it's a natural arc. First yeah. he's the baddie, then he's the goodie. And, Simple you know, arc, but an effective one. Well, that and, um... Uh... Sarah Connor's arc is also really fucking great. Sarah Connor? Yeah, in the first one, she's like, she yeah. starts scared and small, and then she gets stronger by the end of that film, and then by I film two, fucking badass. I liked how she was fucking psychotic in that film. Yeah, and also a bit mad. Go that's down what, one of the tubes. Oh, wait, right, I think you're not near it. That's what I didn't like about the Sarah Connor Chronicles. They just made her into generic team mum. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Who much, cares really. about Sarah Connor Chronicles? But I mean, yeah, this is a complete sort of reboot now where time's been changed, so... I don't know. I'm not one of those people who thinks every time they make a new film that it's you need to go back and get the key. Right. Um... It destroys something I used to enjoy, you know, like... Well, you say that, but I think uh, by this point, Sonic has kind of retroactively become universally shit. I think that's an interesting and probably quite unique case, and I think that's more the fan base. Like, I still enjoy the old Sonics, it's just now... Ay, ay, ay. Because I, I, I can't help myself, like, lately I've just been looking at the Sonic fandom and it's just... Because <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's like a sore tooth you can't stop fucking picking at with your tongue. You just... did, did you search for Gabriel the Hedgehog? Oh, of course I did. I imagine there were quite a few of those. Yeah, loads. All quite androgynous, I think. That's... Well, yes. One I, one I did find that wasn't a Gabriel was just... It was a picture of Knuckles... And it was a wonky ass, like, child's picture of Knuckles. And it just said, Knuckles at the bottom, and then above, so lonely. Okay, you needed those guys. Oh, no, you didn't. That's right. So I played, um, Sonic Boom this week. <laughs> what was that like? Well, 
I'm probably going to review it, yeah. actually. <laughs> you, it's been a while since you've had something I think you can really just rip into. Yeah, I'm treating it like a holiday. Yeah, you, you gotta... This, uh, this, this is just for laughs. This is the big lump of meat and you're rocky. You're just stepping up. It's like, alright. But I'll say one thing for it. I mean, I know there was a bit of outcry because suddenly Knuckles is a huge, like, bruiser character. He's been, yeah, he's been bulking. But you know, thinking about it, I actually kind of appreciate that they're fucking differentiating the builds a bit. Because well, previously, every single character in the Sonic canon was same body, yeah. slight variance on head. Well, I, Knuckles was a reg- that's why he was called Knuckles, and why he has big knuckles, and why he was able to climb, like, just up sheer walls. Like, he was always... See, that's another thing I don't get. Tails is called Tails, but his real name's Miles Prower. He's called Tails because he's got two tails. Mm. Knuckles is called Knuckles because he's got knuckles. What's his real name? Steve. Just Steve. I like to think. Get the heart. It's uh, there we go. Richard Bacon. <laughs> it's it's funny because there's there's Yahtzee the hedgehogs. I mean those are there, but um, yeah, we, we we were trying to find um, you know other ones for friends of ours, and we searched Cormac the hedgehog, and there wasn't a Cormac the hedgehog. There was a Cormac Prower. You said that last week. Oh, I thought was, I can't remember the stuff that we I say to you personally. Well, if you watch these things back, maybe you'd remember. Oh, why would I do that? Oh, I got a one up from that somehow. YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> try Peach. Try Peach. Yeah, all right, I'll yeah. be Peach then. Miss Floaty Ass. I want to appear in kind of puns and words. Yeah, they're quite big on that. They're quite big on puns. They don't translate too well, but they're big on them. I like puns. Hey, there you go. Yeah, you you're may back notice. To big Louis. You, yeah, hey, you missed the. If you pluck, if you yeah, you got to pick up the shit in the. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, I've had one mouthful of cider, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, going wild. <laughs> Lightweight crucial. I'm running wild on you. Yatsi mania! So, yes. Most of these enemies were uh, exactly the same as they were in uh, Doki Doki Panic, mm. but uh, they would later become in- associated with the Mario, for want of a better word, canon. Completely absorbed into the Mario universe. Like the Shy Guys were introduced in this game. I kind of like the Shy Guys. Yes, I think they're an enigma. Yeah. What, what torment lurks behind that placid expression? They probably like are all people who said bad things about Princess Peach, yeah. and so she like locked this horrible nightmare mask onto them and sent them to the dream realm. I bet she's a really despotic ruler. Well, yes. You don't see a lot of dissent in I the made Mushroom this, Kingdom. I made this point in a video once. She's basically a female Berlusconi. <laughs> I mean, she basically just acts in hedonistic leisure while supporting only uh, uh, a selected bourgeoisie and demonizing the lower classes and uh, affording favors to a couple of foreigners who are probably giving her one. <laughs> well, you know, the filthy subclasses. Dirty shy guys. Star yes. you was She one? can't even keep track of how many kids she's given birth to, <laughs> Princess Peach. You saw it in Mario Sunshine. I didn't see no fucking denials. For the kingdom. Mm. Must breed for the kingdom. Oh, I just thought about Princess Peach having sex. Time for a drink. <laughs> I really enjoy Mario 2. Yeah, well, the uh, origi- the Japanese Mario 2, released in this All-Stars pack as The Lost Levels, is, was basically yeah. just a level pack for Mario 1. Which was brutally hard, and they said, let's not release this to the rest of the world. I say Mario 1, I mean Super Mario Brothers. For, of course, there was Mario Brothers before that. Which was that funny little drain pipe game that they added, uh, that you can play on Mario All-Stars, actually. This is a pretty- I, I always enjoyed Mario it, All-Stars, because I think it's You can play it good... in uh, Mario 3. Oh, yeah. Sort of a secret mini-game. Yeah. I quite like Mario World Stars for being, you know, both a cosmetic touch-up and, um, you know, having a... Because, yeah, Lost Levels was fucking brutal, because I, I got this when I got my SNES. Because it was a, a, a game that came with the SNES. Here's a hint for uh, people who make irreverent sprite art. The sprite of the characters pulling something out of the ground can be used in all sort of suspect ways. <laughs> then everyone will say, what a card you are. Oh, you're a Joker card. That's what you are. Yes, I'm about to belch. Joker. I see. I warn you about it. Therefore, it's not uncouth. You, you need to belch along with um, Birdo when uh, he she just vomits an ovum. All hey. right, I'll take that. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm not going to try and burp again because I almost threw up a little bit. 
You're a gross, gross man, aren't you? <laughs> Look at you, sitting there in your sheen of sweat like Slimer from Ghostbusters. It is like 88 humidity in Brisbane at the moment. Well, it's been pissing Quick, down hit lately. the transgender, hit her! Then Strike her about the face. Nintendo, clamp down on that. It's a girl. I no, call really. bullshit. Yeah, but of course, in the original manual of Mario 2, Birdo was a man. It directly explained, with no prejudice whatsoever, that Birdo was trans and no one gave a shit. These days, there'd be fucking some kind of weird Bible group having a hissy fit about it. What happened to that when, um, Tomodachi Life was oppressing homosexuals? <laughs> Well, homosexuals aren't true. <coughs> Story! Ahoy there, listeners. It's Mario 2, a game which is a dream. <laughs> That's the connection. But you can't get more tired than Mario these days. Uh, he's still got Spark for a big fat Italian man. But this Mario, is the I'm SNES gonna... version, isn't it? The one on, uh... Yes, this was the version on Super Mario All-Stars. Now, what's the one thing everyone who should know anything about video games knows about Mario 2? Um, gee, it's not, it wasn't originally a Mario game. There you go. <laughs> There's a lot, I thought you were just gonna go, Luigi's the best! No. This is like a- I hate Luigi's weird floaty jumps, I can never use him. I always use Luigi because he's the best. That's, always. It's inaccurate. It's an inaccurate statement. So, Toad's got some great fucking plucking skills, and Peach's ability to drift was probably the most important thing to me. So, this is a- What was your word again? Tired, remember? Tired. Oh, it was okay. quite a tired choice. For tired, but I'm going to liven it up a bit by drinking alcohol. I think that's a fair. No, I, I think that's a fair choice. Even. Oh, you see what I mean about his fucking stupid floaty jumps? All right, there will be someone else in the next level. Yeah. So I got my lovely can of Summersby apple cider here. Peach man, peach is where it's at. Let me just uh. Super Mario Ball Scars, the vasectomy simulator. And uh, just to keep it interesting, yeah. I'm going to play a little drinking game. <laughs> and the game is, I'm going to drink every time I feel a pressing need to numb myself from the world. Oh, time to drink. <laughs> That's a fun game. <sighs> anyway. I played that for eight years. Why not play Drink Along with Drown Out? <laughs> just get your preferred beverage and we, perhaps we can all soften the blow of this tedious routine together. We can uh, completely encourage wholly irresponsible drinking. So the game that Jesus. this used to be, do you know what it was called? Uh, Doki Doki Panic. Well done. Now what does Doki Doki mean? No fucking clue. It's a onomatopoeia for the beating of a heart. Huh. Is it me or does Japanese seem to you know, use a 